Alright, in this video I'll be talking about how to care for leopard geckos. Um, and I got a question on, or a request to make this video. Um, so, I figured why not. And hope you enjoy the video. Um, you can see my leopard gecko is drinking water right now. Um, and they really, really do love water. So you're going to need a water dish for sure. Now, um, for the setup, you'd want something that's at least, I guess this is a 20 gallon, I think. Um, a 60 centimeter terrarium for one gecko. If you're going to keep more, you want something bigger like this or that. Um, you would want to have a cage net, such as this, if you can see it. Um, to prevent them from escaping. Um, you'd also want some hides, a warm hide and a humid one. Um, the humid one will help them from shedding problems, but if you do not have any or if you don't want to use them, um, you can also just put them in a bucket of water, that's the temperature of your hand, um, and put, let them soak in the water for a couple minutes, um, once in one or two weeks. That should be fine. Um, I do that and she's totally fine. Now before you guys leave a comment about impaction for sand, if you people already know about impaction, um, and impaction is this thing where the gecko eats food or something and swallows sand with the food and the sand stays in the stomach and it won't come out and basically it's not a good thing. So in order to prevent that from happening, and you want to keep them in sand, um, you're going to have to not feed them with a food bowl or um, let the food run loose, like crickets running loose in the terrarium, because that's going to definitely cause impaction. Um, so what you want to do is feed them with tweezers if possible, or feed them on somewhere like a desk or places where there's no sand. So. There's are ways to prevent them from getting impacted. Um, of course, they do love to burrow and dig, so you want to use some substrate like sand or cocoa bark. Um, and that should help them, because they really do love to dig. He, She digs everywhere, every day, so... Yeah, sand is really useful. Of course, you could use paper towels or tiles like these, and keep them on those if you want um, and that's about it for the setup um, you can use lights but turn them off at night time you don't really want red or blue lights on on the night time that can irritate the, your gecko um, even in daytime it's just for to keep the setup really nice looking and the plants alive um, you can add accessories like rocks and branches and stuff if you live in cool parts of the earth, <laughs> um, you could use mat heaters. Um, they sell them at pet stores and stuff. Um, I guess that's about it too. Um, in summer, you don't really need them on. Um, in winter, you want them on. You want them on for sure. Um, and I guess it's nice to have two hides and a sp for a big space for them to roam. So. That's about it for the care for leopard geckos. They're really easy to care for. Um, geckos, the geckos itself will cost you about fifty dollars or less, or even more. Um, and they're really, really easy to care for. They eat crickets, mealworms, wax worms, and lotus. So, if you're thinking you need to get one, your chance. All of this will cost you about maybe one hundred and. $100 or a little bit more. Um, so, hope you liked the video and hopefully it helped you out if you're getting started with these geckos. If you're going to keep a lot of them, like I said, don't keep them in something small like a 20 gallon. Keep them in something bigger. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.